How's it going today, Gemini? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. I have a brand new deck and I'm gonna use it to do mid-month guidance for December. So this is the Tattoo Tarot, Ink and Intuition. So these are really cool cards. I hope you guys enjoy them as much as, as I do. Um, I went deck shopping yesterday and I saw these tucked on a bottom shelf and I had to have them. So um, I'm pretty happy with them. So hopefully you'll enjoy the reading that I do with these cards. I try to use a different deck for every reading just to kind of give like a fresh angle because every deck has different cards and meanings. So um, I'll give these ones a go for you guys. So Gemini general reading right so this might not all apply to you and that's fine if you do want um, a personalized reading send me an email at aries fire tarot aries fire tarot at gmail.com and we'll set you up a a personalized reading so what i do is i record a video just like i do for these free ones and upload it to youtube with a link that only you have access to. So, and then you can download the video and keep it. So, uh, I feel like I need to shuffle one more time. These are really hard for me to shuffle because they're quite big. Here, I'll show you the deck. It's a pretty big deck. <clears throat> so meanwhile, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the likes and and the shares remember to subscribe to my channel like I said I am doing um, readings every week and I try to mix them up a little bit keep it fresh and entertaining so make sure you subscribe so you you know when I put out my next set I try to do them on the weekend when everybody has downtime not everybody you know I used to work midnights and weekends and evenings and all that stuff too so but anyway Gemini December mid-month guidance all right you guys two minutes in I think it's time to be quiet and start doing your read so here we go first card is the the wheel of fortune this is a great card to start your reading off with you can see that the wheel is turning and this is exactly what it's like it's like if you watch um like the price is right or the like the wheel is it to the show called wheel of fortune it is right and so they spin the wheel and it moves to another location on the wheel this is the the wheel represents your life so something is moving forward it could be an indication that you've completed a karmic cycle like if you feel like you've been experiencing the same sort of situation over and over and over again it's probably because there was a lesson in there somewhere that you needed to learn that you weren't quite getting so the universe is going well they're gonna rewind that for you and maybe you'll get it this time so this is a good indication when you see the wheel of fortune card um that you have learned that lesson and this one is so cool the way it's set up it's like they've got a snake in the base here and there's a crank here as if like you could, you're in control of changing that wheel, right? Um, with how you progress, how you ascend. Amazing, nice card to start your reading off with, that's for sure. Especially if you've been waiting for a situation to end or you're like, oh, it's like I'm dating the same person over and over again. Maybe you needed to learn a lesson. So I have the Empress card here for you guys. So the Empress card represents nurturing and like feminine power, like to the highest degree, right? So the Empress embodies um, fertility, pleasure, luxury and beauty, um, success and evolution and movement. So that's not a coincidence that it's following uh, the Wheel of Fortune card. It, it just means that you are moving and it looks like you're moving in the right direction. This is a really positive card, the Empress, to follow the Wheel of Fortune with. And I just, all I can think of is like buying a vowel. So I'm really sorry. Nice, nice cards, you guys, so far. 
um, pretty interesting. We have the Ace of Cups here, which indicates a new beginning. So all of your cards are saying that you have a new beginning coming in. Um, and it, I'm just getting the feeling from these cards um, that it's something you've really been working on. Like, I feel like you've been doing a lot of soul searching um, and really doing possibly some shadow work, like sort of merging sort of the darker aspects of your soul in with like your public persona, like not everybody, like everybody has a dark side, right? And I find that most people keep that dark side a secret. Um, and then it comes out in like emotional situations and I'm getting the sense that you could, um, could be a little bit ashamed of that dark side, but everybody has it. That's why we see symbols with um, dark and light together, right? Because everybody has a dark side um, and you just, basically you have to accept it because it, it, it's you, you know, whether you like it or not. Um, King of Cups here, you guys. So the King of Cups is, um, the King of Cups is this energy that is really sort of gentle and creative and uh, some people can mistake a person like this as being spineless because this person is, they're not a, they're not a fighter, right? They like to keep things mellow and, you know, almost sort of a solitary person, probably not understood by a lot of people. And that's okay, because not everybody has to understand you, right? I get the feeling that that's your energy, actually, King of Cups. I want to show you this card again because like the longer you look at it the more you see in the details right like the the tattoo of the the crown here on this guy's head who i think is smoking hot by the way uh, <laughs> silly robin did i introduce myself i'm robin this is aries fire tarot i get so excited about readings um so i've got here the knave of coins which in a traditional tarot deck would be the um Help me with a word here, page of pentacles. So, hmm. Something could be coming in, like with the wheel changing. I just get the feeling that you're working on some sort of creative venture and you've been maybe studying on it a little bit and it's just gonna hit the next level for you guys. Um, hmm. Something about finances. I'm trying to listen, you guys. Like I hear like the spirit guides and it's not really coming through. but it's definitely tied to the Wheel of Fortune. Like I do two rows of cards. Um, so, you know, so I aspected the Knave of Coins right underneath the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know if that's any good of a view. Um, so it looks like you're, you're turning things in favor of possibly a career that has been a part-time passion while you're working. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is, um, you're feeling a little bit tired. You've been carrying a lot, but this is right underneath the Empress, right? So I've aspected the Nine of Wands right underneath the Empress. And the Empress is this like nurturing, feminine, strong energy. So 
I'm seeing the nine of wands here. It says that maybe you just need to take a day off, take some time off. Um, rest up, keep your mind sharp. You know, remember to take care of yourself. But you got a lot going on, Gemini. If it's not external, I think it's internal. Seven of Swords here, you guys. Seven of Swords, it, it has a lot of different meanings, but the one I'm getting right now is you're fearful of leaving something behind. But you don't have to be. Um, sorry, you don't have to be fearful because you have the Ace of Cups here. Um, and I aspected Seven of Swords right underneath Ace of Cups. So in this Ace of Cups is the new beginning that's coming in. So you have a bunch of really positive cards here, you guys. Um, and then you have a couple of, uh, maybe I'll change the camera angle back again. Let me know in the comments if you like to see the cards halfway through the reading. I was doing that for a while, but I had to change my setup a little. But I think you guys need to see the cards too. So anyway, so you've got nine of wands, which means you've been carrying a big load for a long time, right? And then you have the seven of swords, which is you've got so much on the go, like your hands are full. You're feeling like you're dropping things, but I don't think you are. I'm not getting the sense that you are. And that's why the Ace of Cups is here to tell you that, you know, you're not forgetting anything. And everything's going to be fine. See? And then the next cup I pull here. Next cup. Next card I pull here for you guys. And just as I pulled this, I got um, repeating numbers 12, 12 on the recording time. So if you are not familiar with angel numbers, go ahead and you, YouTube or Google that right now. Angel numbers 12, 12. As I pulled the nine of cups, which is basically the celebration card. It means that, you know, everything is flowing as it should be, as you want it to be. Everything is manifesting the way that you want it to. Um, you could be a little bit stretched emotionally I think but I think that's normal when you're doing a startup um, you're not sure how things are gonna go but if you don't already you're going to have an awful lot to celebrate um, so it really impacts me is the top left and the bottom right cards when I do an eight card spread the kitty corner ones so these are the kitty corner ones, the wheel of fortune, which means something is going to change in your favor. And it's due to um, the work you have been doing either um, on a karmic level or on a, a human plane level, right? So, and then you've got the nine of cups. So whatever is coming into your future shortly, it's gonna be a great cause for celebration for you. And I do see, I do see more work-related. And when I say that, that could be, like if you're a painter and you've been painting and going to farmer's markets and stuff like that um, to sell your stuff, I think somebody's gonna notice you, right? Um, if you're a part-time, and I do see this for the creative people, like more so than uh, any other aspect of I think there's a, a creative facet that is being addressed here with the wheel turning. Not to say it's excluding anybody else, but definitely um, for those that are trying to sustain their lifestyle um, through their creativity, like their your your gift from God or whatever, like the the gift that you were given. Um, that your soul carried into this human plane, right? I think I'm just botching every comment I make right now, but at the end of the day, like what I'm seeing here is um, a really positive outcome and I'm seeing something happening within the next 
I want to say eight weeks. So like from mid-December to mid-February, but it could be either side of that, you know. Um, I'm just a little bit overwhelmed by these cards because there's so much positive energy coming here for you guys. I'm really interested to know if this is uh, resonating, like if this sounds like your story. Let me know in the comments or even just hit the like button so that I know that this is making sense to somebody. Um, it looks like you've been really striving towards a creative journey. And I'm looking at this guy and I'm seeing, I think somebody watching is a tattoo artist. If you are, let me know because, um, you know, I just want to know, really. I'm going to say that again, you know. So anyway, you guys, um, at the risk of repeating myself, I'm just going to cut myself off because I think I've explained what is happening for uh, a lot of Gemini out there. So just, like, keep on the treadmill. Keep going. You're going to get that break that you need, and it's going to be sooner than you expected. So, um yeah, take care of yourself in the meantime, right? And try not to stress too much because if something is meant for you, you'll receive it, okay? So stay blessed, take care, and let me know how it turns out. Okay, love you guys. Bye for now. Bye.